This is just for we can make better choices because like you said, some people may say, and I challenge that. And you said some people may say, well, you got only fan stuff. They're going to always look at you that way. I believe in redemption. I mean, so I know everyone doesn't or they have, they, they pick and choose what they believe can be redeemed, but I do believe in redemption. So it takes time. It definitely it does. does. You know, but know you know, said, yeah. now let me ask, ask let's do this. Cause we challenging it. We open the door for the conversation. Right. So first of all, let's ask this. Is only fans really hurting anymore? So technically no. But I believe psychologically, yes. And I'm going to get to that in a second. And, you know, what if a person says, I'm playing with myself on camera to feed my children? I mean, I don't know. It's just, and not saying, it's, it's, but it's different with women than men in some cases because some women use their bodies because it's like, this all I got, this all I can do. Where some men, I feel like it's more so from a pride aspect. Not always, but most cases, I feel like with men doing stuff like that, it's some pride attached to it. It's like a look at me, I look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even like I said, when you see the storylines behind female strippers and male strippers. Like I said, female strippers, you see the movies, you've seen the, um, I'm going to say, what's the show called? Um, Down in the Valley, Free Valley. And um, what's the original one? Uh, Players Club and them type of movies where there's the strippers in there who like, I'm doing this just to pay for school. I hate being here, but I got to do this. And that's typically associated with women. Now, of course, we have some women that are like, look at my body, it's easy money. But most times I feel like with men, they're not usually doing that to, again, not always, but they're not doing that to, oh, I got to pay, I got to feed my kids. That's not the first thing a man is going to think to do as a man. To go to OnlyFans as a thing, it's typically like an extra side hustle or a part of something else. What's your take on that? I'm thinking the guy that's going to be that's going to have an OF account is probably going to be the one that's already in the streets a lot. Like he already has a label that like he's a hoe or something like that. And he's like, well, all right, I might as well make money from it. Just pull out a camera and just keep on making money. Um, and those type of guys are typically very prideful. So I, I can definitely agree with you on that. As, as I stated earlier, we already talked about the gender neutral thing, which I'm sorry, men have roles and women have roles. We need got this logic of everything men can do, women can do. That's not the case in everything. Men and women still have different roles. But I will say this. Back to the whole you'll do anything for money thing. Them type of people who have that mindset, them type of men that had that mindset when it comes to that, they will sell you. Because ultimately, the only fans thing, you are a salesman to an extent. And I am a firm believer, them are the type of dudes who do anything to get some money. Because, like I mentioned earlier, if people in your DMs, hey, I'll send you this money, like you said, somebody was in your DMs and was like, hey, um, I send you some money. Can I see this? Can I see that? And you do it. You'll do anything for money. And then eventually the, the bar will keep moving back and you'll keep on doing this. And they say, let me do this. And then let's do this. And let's do this stuff that if they came from the beginning asking this, you wouldn't have did it. But since they eased you into it, you'll do it. What was that? It was an ex-porn star. I can't think of his name. He had got saved. Um, he got saved. He used to do porn. And he said, that's how the porn industry was. They'll keep doing little stuff, little stuff. And then eventually you look up, you doing stuff. You say, you'll never do it at first when you first got into porn. And now you're doing it. And then you just said, you'll never do that. It's the same concept. You know, I had just interviewed a Playboy model on my podcast like five weeks ago. I wish I could. I wish we would have had this conversation first because I would have asked some completely different questions. Oh, so what man. direction did you go with the conversation? So it was more so of a, how did you overcome the image that you had after you left the industry? What's, how are you building your life now? What are some of the struggles that you're having? Because I interviewed uh, her, she and her husband, and um, her husband um, was a, he was a drug addict and ex-professional snowboarder. So I was interviewing both of them at the same time so it was uh it was really more so of a 
a conversation overcoming like addiction overall because there's a lot that happens in the the um the porn industry 